<laughs> oh, I'm so disappointed I don't have a button to push that again. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, that was great. That was great. Uh, we got uh, 24 terrible hours. This is the third hour and for each of these 24 terrible hours. Uh, we've got intro songs by Boots Rain Gear. I've only heard like a couple of them. <laughs> and fuck that was delightful um uh we got some fart fetish coming at you but first i want to tell you about a new donation incentive we're putting up on the board right now uh frank west tell me about the game bullet witch hey folks i'd like to talk to you about bullet witch i'll try and do this quick a lot to cover it's a uh, xbox 360 game that came out in 2006 and had a really neat trailer and young frank was very excited for it and then i didn't hear about it again and it turns out there was a reason for that uh, it's kind of like Sonic 06, and then it procedurally generates bullshit for you, <laughs> and every player has new dumb shit. Somehow, in 2018, someone realized they owned the IP for it, and they updated it, so keep in mind you are seeing the better version of this game. <laughs> Very qualified, better. Is this the uh, extremely not Bayonetta? Yes, it's 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 Bayonetta. It, it's mostly known, everybody, every single person who's a fan of this game is horny for a lady who's like Bayonetta, but not sexy. And she <laughs> hates it. <laughs> Which I guess... That's some people's thing. Uh, so, Frank West, what? Uh, how long do you think it takes to beat the game Bullet Witch? Uh, it took me five and a half hours when I played through with Portax and Toasty. <laughs> yes. Yeah, but I'm pretty true. sure... So I'm going to be playing on Chaos Mode, which is a harder difficulty. Ooh. And I'm going to be trying to speed run. So one thing you should know about this, the, ba the basic concept of the game, it's a third-person shooter. You cast spells, and everything either instantly kills you or does no damage at all. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, one thing that they found when they were remaking the game, because the game is just a plotting mess where you take everywhere. It's mostly just a walking simulator originally. And they said, hey, there's this dash in the game where you super dash forward and it's got like animations and stuff. And the original developers like, oh, that was a development tool. And we took it out. And they were like, hey, if we put this in, the game will mostly it won't be just a bunch of walking through empty hallways. And so they put in. So you're just going to see me doing a lot of a super dash that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> was essentially a developer tool. So I'm putting did. a thermometer up on the big board, uh, and that means that uh, if and when, and hopefully fucking when, uh, when we get to the total of 2,750 or higher, uh, then we will immediately make Frank West start yeah. playing this game in the second stream. I do want to say, I think knowing what I know, I can probably beat it very fast. So what I'm going to do is play all of the concept missions after that which are the normal missions with extra dumb bullshit. And they're Yay. 18 of them, and I don't know how long that will take. And I mean, <laughs> once, again, once again, our goal, 2750, we'll make Frank West play Bullet Witch. That will be in the second stream. We have two different streams uh, happening at this time. But that's enough of me, because I want to hear some words from Kumquat. Kumquat's up. What's going oh, on? Oh, oh, hi. I didn't see you there, Levin. <laughs> um, I was just over here. Uh, avoiding Frank West because he's a terrible person that plays terrible video games. Agreed. Uh, I'm I'm more interested in uh, the best thing on the internet, which is fart automatopias. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Woo. I forgot to put some sound clips for that. <laughs> yeah. So you know, as as you know, uh, the internet was made for a couple of you know uh, real specific niche purposes. Um, you know, a bunch of things like business and images, but mainly it was for farting. Um, <laughs> so finally, we're really uh, getting to the meat of this. And by the way, in case uh -huh. you did not know, um, uh, this whole hour is going to be Cat Examiner's fault. So, yay! <laughs> uh, thank you. Oh, cats cat are known examiner. for their farts. Thanks yes. Cat Examiner. Yes. So uh, everybody blame Cat Examiner and also thank you. Um, well, you know, to really uh, to really kick things off here, you know, I, I think um, I I'm really wondering, um, you know, Adam, uh, Adam, I heard yeah. last night was awesome for you. Night was awesome for P Tang. <laughs> yeah, it's Pootie Tang. Shout out to oh. yeah. my main Dammy. <laughs> this, hey, was on the runny kind. this was posted on November 14th of 2011. Cast your minds back. My girl came over last night and she's been trying to fart for me for the last few months. 
<laughs> I didn't say anything about straight, farting last like, night. For the last several months straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't say anything about farting last night, which I think helped. I think she's been trying too hard. <laughs> Wrong too. Uh, while we were watching Harry Potter, she was eating dried apricots. <laughs> she said she ate like 50, 20 of them. We both fell asleep for about an hour, and I didn't think anything would happen. And when I woke up, hold on. Do I have to turn up? I think I have to turn up. Yeah, can you turn yourself up a little bit, please? Yeah, one second. Well, uh, while you're doing that. Yeah! Oh, Secret Agent 69 uh, says the only spell my wizard has prepared is Stinking Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? Perfect, yes. Better. All righty. Uh, well, when I woke up, I heard her fart. So I knew she was gassy. So I started rubbing her leg and ass to wake her up. You know what that and makes she- me do? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey, Frank West! <laughs> Already! Wow. Already! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I'm literally heating my food up in the oven. I need to eat. <laughs> no! No, you don't. Oh my god! You're gonna eat mm, box sound clips. Stop us from god, up. Oh right. my god! We should have said it higher, huh? People really want to see Frank West die. <laughs> no, I do. Wow. Um, wowie, okay. wowie, wowie. So first of all, uh, first of all, uh, everybody in this stream, we need a, a a hearty, hearty round of applause for Ragnarok movies. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, yeah, thank Ragnarok you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Frank West, applaud. Frank West, applaud. I, okay. <laughs> what did Frank West ever do to all you? So <laughs> no much. game's applauding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so Ragnarok Bobies uh, put us up with a, a $409.30 donation wow. uh, damning you uh, to play this fucking game so suit up, bitch Oh my god! <laughs> you, 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 you are going to have to give me half the hour. You, you broke our golden thermometer, thermometer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well See, that's, that's happening I can hear it yeah. I'm going to take that thermometer <laughs> I didn't realize I coded it that badly. I, thought, I didn't realize it broke like that. I wish I would have put particle animations on the top. Anyway, I'm sorry. Where were we? When she woke up, we started 69ing. Good. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Every time she had to fart, she would squeeze my leg, so I knew when to put my nose directly in her asshole. <laughs> <laughs> So every time she would squeeze, I would get hard as hell. She farted at least seven times, and everyone had the sweet apricot apricot smell. Hmm. I was I was in heaven. We number. Then I fucked the hell out of her doggy style. <laughs> I'm sorry. Somebody said "ew" very loudly. <laughs> um, about this. Uh, where did I? Okay. Uh, she started farting while I was fucking her, and soon, <laughs> as I smelled them, I came instantly. I'm so happy and lucky that I finally found a girl with a smoking odd body who understands my fetish. <laughs> I don't know. It's I don't willing know why. to do anything. It seems to be the sound of the happy. in the background. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Happy for them. They, they found each so other. Yeah. Chad is the same. I, I was thinking, man, this really sounds like just James Joyce. <laughs> the James Joyce letters. This would be James Joyce, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce finally found love. Uh, who's up next? Uh, <laughs> I think we're done here. <laughs> I mean, I, I am. What did we learn? Thirty minute fart. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to donate. So all we listen to is uh, Bob for the next fifty minutes. <laughs> Perfect. 
farting in a 69. <laughs> do, do you want me to take the next door? Or do you not? Do you answer? Yeah, Montrith, I think you had a response to that. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, here's what I have to say. That's awesome, man. Same here. The apricots didn't work for me, though. I had to... <laughs> Hooray! He's <laughs> trying to sabotage this part of the show. Also, why won't you start reading? <laughs> you know what? Next time, I'm just gonna keep going. Thank you so much for Lost Season, uh, two hundred four dollars. Pyro, fifty dollars. Anonymous donator, forty nine dollars. Thank you so much for your donation. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, now, please listen to my important info about these farts. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Same here. The apricots didn't work for me, though. I had to try chewable fiber choice tablets. Taste like sweet tart. She uh, ate and took four faded about three hours and she blew up. Now, but so, put some black, black leggings. Sorry, I had like a dirt spot on my computer that made it look like black leggings. <laughs> and then over doggy style and ripped in my face huge ones about eight or nine times and she doesn't normally I was so turned on she jerked me off while farting in my face and I came instantly to it was amazing <laughs> we were lucky but if you can try the favorite choice tablets they work every time smiley face that's some acrobatics right there jerked me off <laughs> Oh my god! Such a difficult maneuver. It's a that's a stress position right there. That's like. <laughs> What's next, come All right, well, that that was really great. That was really great. I love you know uh, seeing it into the personal lives of upstanding citizens of the internet. But we're gonna move on to um, you know the the, the more important uh, the more important uh, 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 meat uh, or maybe uh, apricot of the section here. Um, and that is stories. Yay. Ooh. Yeah. Yay. Uh, so uh, I think, um, you know, uh, Lemon, could you, um, uh, could you let us know about your, um, your, your magnum flatus, yeah. if you will. Yeah. My name's uh, Moth Corp, <laughs> Moth Corporation. Moth, mother of fucker corporation, something like that. Anyway, this is the mother fart fiction art. mega fiction. The fart fiction mega thread. Let's post some fart stories. Okay. Asphyxia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, gentlemen, welcome to the stage. <laughs> oh dear. Already the best pun of the marathon so far. <laughs> yeah. She actually farts herself up the stripper pole. Yeah. <laughs> Bart has been married with Julia for two years now. A tall and very muscular Jamaican girl, five foot nine, two hundred twenty-nine five pounds. Very muscular. Yeah. Wicked sexual desires. She was very sexual and beautiful, but now he was planning to divorce. All right. She was a cruel woman performing black magic rituals and enjoying crushing animals under her large uh... ass while farting on them. Okay. She said she has to do that to please Ezra, <laughs> the goddess of love in the voodoo religion. Bart knew she had to, she had a great sexual pleasure in doing this. When Bart, and by that I assume Simpson, woke up this morning, he was in a strange shape. His soul and spirit had been trapped in a bird body, and he was confined in a bird oh cage. God. Julia was looking at him with a sadistic grin on her face. She put her clothes, she put her clothes off and opened the cage. <laughs> Julia took a bird and put him on a chair. Oh God. Yeah, this oh, is God. one of those fetish buffet stories here. <laughs> wow. While maintaining Bart, she sat on him with her bare ass. She didn't exert a very heavy pressure on him because she wanted the torture to last a very long time. In spite of that, Bart was painfully crushed and he had a difficult time breathing, being smothered under her 225 pounds of muscles. But the worst of all, this is going to be a surprise, folks. <laughs> but oh. the worst of all was her farts. Oh, oh dear. There was not a lot of air to breathe, and or not a lot of air to breath, and this little air was fouled by the most vile smarts he had smelled in his life. Yeah, protein shakes, probably. And it was a non-stop farting on his little body. Julia had surely planned his fate with a meticulous precision and thought of a way <laughs> to make the most putrid farts possible to asphyxiate and to humiliate Bart. How much? How much planning does it does it take to decide to sit on a bird and fart? <laughs> Think. 
This is uh, this is one of the Sideshow Bob episodes that they just never aired. <laughs> he was on the verge of passing out now as the pain was awful and he had not breathed a single gust of fresh air for a very long time now. Suddenly, Julia removed her butt from little from the little body, allowing Bart to breathe some pure air and recover. Well, not pure, not pure air <laughs> to recover <laughs> some strength. But it was only to apply tortures even more cruel than the first ones. Julia took the bird and sank it deeply between her butt cheeks. Wow! Mm -hmm. Placing the head just in front of her asshole. <laughs> poor, poor bird. She then squeezed the little bird while continuing her cruel farts. The squeezing was so hard that Julia heard some bones crush under the pressure. For Bart had become so excruciatingly painful that he wanted to die now. Hmm, join the club, Bart. But after a very <laughs> long suffering, Julia spread her buddy and let the little bird drop to the floor, still alive. Oh, well, that's nice. She took the telephone and called a veterinary. Hello, doctor. My canary bird has escaped its cage and hit the window pane. Some of its bro bones are broken. Could you come at healing? I like it so much, earthworm. Oh. Snaps, snaps. Earthworm. Yeah. <laughs> Earthworm. Really, really. I don't know what the bird was doing in that. Like, it seems like it's an animal of cruelty fetish. Yeah, yeah. There's some. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that that was really great. Uh, that was, that was really. I can. I can. I can. Uh, I can. I can. I can read it. It felt good. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know. I mean. I'm. I'm farts... giving you things that I know you want. So. Um... <laughs> How were farts the least important part of that story? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but you know, um, more importantly, I think it's time to move on to some, uh, you know, more artistic merits here. And uh, Isfahan, Isfahan, um, yeah. would you like to tell us about, uh, you know, your your girlfriend? Yeah, um, I, I think uh, after that animal cruelty, we want a we want a more positive, uplifting story. So I'm going to tell you about my lactose intolerant girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> so uh, my yeah. girlfriend is named Rachel. She loves to drink milkshakes, milk, or even eat ice cream, no matter what. Her problem is that she is that she is very lactose intolerant. She is she is. Rachel is not aware that she is lactose intolerant. Oh yes, yeah, she is. No, you're not. If you're lactose intolerant, you you fucking know it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, space comma, but I am M her boyfriend, <laughs> Randy. Oh, Rachel. Rachel is sexy girl. She's tall with long blonde hair and a large ass. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday were the best days of my life and the worst days of Rachel's life. R. Rachel was wearing these tight blue jeans that hugged her tight ass, a white top, and black boots. <laughs> I had a secret fetish that I haven't told my grill friend Rachel yet. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I find farting women sexy, and it turns me on. I don't know why, but it does. I don't know, I guess maybe it's because I am comfortable around women, or maybe they are comfortable <laughs> around me. Oh, so I doubt that. I doubt that. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, on Friday night, Rachel and I were coming home from shopping at the malls. Rachel begins to complain about her stomach, making strange noises. I call my Sealy... I call my Sealy, S-E-L-E, being funny with a grin on my face. I told her to go drink some milk, knowing what it does to her system. Rachel wow. proceeded to, the, isn't it dangerous? Uh, anyway, uh, Rachel proceeded to the kitchen and chewed down four tall glasses of milk. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was sitting on the sofa watching television when my sexy Rachel entered the room. I asked her, did that help? She said, yes, a little, not much. My gut still feels bad. Rachel and I were cuddling on the sofa when I heard that so same noise she was complaining about earlier. The noise was so loud, it sounded like an earthquake rumbling. Second later, after hearing her stomach rumble, Rachel begins, begins shifting on the sofa uncomfortably. Seconds later, Rachel looks at me and whispers in to my ear, I love you, Randy. I replied, I love you to Rachel. Yeah. Moments later, we began ging to kiss passionately, uh -oh. and that's when it happened. <laughs> yeah. 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 We stopped kissing. The room was in dead sleeps. You could hear a pin drop. I pretend that I was disgusted and said, "You farted, you nasty girl. It stinks oh, in here." Little shit. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like you didn't tell her that she's lactose intolerant, and then you have the nerve to go and like, oh, you smart and you <laughs> gross girl. Yeah. Like, why I'm do not... so many of these fetishists just like love to describe these horribly abusive relationships? And that's what. Sorry, no, okay, a... uh, I'm kind of... shame on you, Randy. It's 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 just game. You know, you got to play coy. Yeah, yeah. Right, um, right. Uh, Rachel looks at me and says, oops, did I do that? I said, yes. Rachel said, I told you my stomach was bothering me, but I didn't know I had to fart. Can we continue our ram-antic evening? Urkel fetish. Uh, Maybe I want to take you on a ram-antic evening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were still hugged up on the sofa and <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Rachel ass vibrated the sofa. I was still <laughs> pretending that I didn't like it. I said, damn, girl, what the hell did you eat? Laughing out loud and feigning the air around me, it stinks. Rachel said, baked beans, broccoli, and cheese casserole, and two glasses of milk. Rachel was embarrassed at what what happened. She got up and... God. And then... And farted out the room. Rachel was mad at me for teasing her. She said, "If you want to leave me, go ahead and leave. I'll understand." Does, does her butt have lips? How was it so articulate? <laughs> yeah, the butt made an M sound. <laughs> an R sound. Minutes later, I went in to comfort her. I asked her, "Are you all right?" She says, "No, Randy, I am not." The br- 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 rat. All right. <laughs> I I call myself using psychology on her. With two C's. Okay. okay, can you please spell? Uh, can sure. You please spell that word. It is uh, C Y C O L O G Y, which is a study of bicycles, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, on her, I told her, "Don't cry if you are embarrassed. It's okay. Nobody, capital K, knows but me." I also told her that farting is a part of life. In fact, I, yeah, it's, it's it is a part. It is it is a part of life. It is apart from life. Yeah. In <laughs> fact, I, I, have conf- time. I confessed my sexual fetish to her. I said, Rachel, there is something I need to tell you. Rachel said, "What is it, Randy?" I said, <laughs> "It's a little embarrassing to tell." Rachel said. Rachel said, remember what you told me a few minutes ago? It's okay to be embarrassed. I said, you're possessive, right? You are absolutely right. I said, ah, here's ghost. You remember when I told you to drink some milk to soothe your stomach? Rachel says, yeah, what about it? I said, I told you that because I know what milk does to your system. Rachel says, what do you mean? I said, I mean, you are lactose intolerant. I told you to drink milk because I wanted... I told, I, and now I'm explaining the plot to a character in the story. I told you to drink milk because I wanted to hear, as in where I am, you fart. Rachel says, why? I said, because I have this fetish for women. Okay, Jesus, dude. I have this fetish for women farting. It turns me on. And I was afraid to tell you because I thought you would leave me. Rachel said, I have a confession to tell you. I said, what is it? Rachel said, I knew all along you liked my farts because last month I was farting in bed while you were asleep. You didn't complain about the sound or the smell. You just smiled and laughed. Wasn't he asleep? But anyway, P.S. I will conchue with Saturday and Sunday lactose intolerance story on trigger warning evening. Hope you enjoy the post story. Uh, the, the farts. <laughs> it's of the trigger major. warning evening with Pooner and the Sniz. <laughs> yeah, it, it, is, it literally is T slash W evening. I... Yeah. Okay, so I, if, I just... If yeah, uh, if you're sensitive about stories being set in the evening, be be yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. I just want you to know that my parents and my sister are talking in the next room. Are talking about her wedding, <laughs> and there's a very noticeable contrast. <laughs> well, just turn up, just turn up your speakers, Mantra. Yeah, turn, turn up, up for fart. <laughs> turn up for fart. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Um, well, that was that was great. Um, you know, I, I really enjoyed hearing about that. It's fun. Thanks. Uh, but John Toast, um, yeah. I hear I, I heard, uh, you know, through the grapevine that you're looking for a pen pal. I am. Thank you so much for bringing that up. I am. Z- mm, OK, <clears throat> I am Zapak Skunza. Yeah. Zapak yeah. Skunza. Yeah. And I am looking for a pen pal who farts and philosophizes. 
Well, we all are. I am a well-educated, commutative, communicative guy in his late 20s and currently living in California. It doesn't matter where you are. I have diverse interests. And at this point, I just like... I'd just like someone to correspond with about the fart fetish aspect of my sexuality that I'm still trying to understand and about whatever range of subjects comes up, actually. I can be both serious and playful. I love verbal wit. And I have this rich inner life of conflict, confusion, and fantasy that is suppressed and in need of expression. I doubt it's particularly rich. <laughs> I need to let let this uh, let my inner world out, you know, like something else I'm thinking of. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> Email exchanges could eventually lead to ex exchanges. Oh, that's, ex that's exchanges like with that. three X's. Wow. Get it? Yeah. Could conceivably lead to smelly sexual adventures, but they might not. I would oh. really just like to start with open, playful, and possibly for flirtatious discussion of various topics, but in particular about fart sexuality. Why <laughs> doesn't Facebook let me mark myself as fart sexual? <laughs> Farting, and it's complicated. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, the part uh -huh. where I was about farts. I would really like to communicate with a female fart fetishist or an open-minded woman willing to indulge it, the fart fetish with her flatulence. And I am a good listener if you find that your own inner life is conflicted or suppressed. <laughs> I have so much curiosity, but I am constrained by my, a number of circumstances. Well, this is all quite serious, so to prove that I can be playful, here's a little poem I wrote. <clears throat> The more malodorous the gas, the sexier the farting ass. So sexy stinker, don't hold back. Release the thunder from your crack. <laughs> the rancid wind from your rear end is sweet perfume, so toot again. Uh... Just blow a smelly backdoor kiss in my direction, fetid bliss. And if the air grows foul and dense, I thank you for your flatulence. Ooh, really so, good. So fair is foul and foul is fair when it comes to your derriere. <laughs> oh, that's, well, that's where that Ooh. fair is foul and foul is fair. Yeah, the, the weird sisters of fartfish. It's good to know yeah, where yeah, that yeah, yeah. Favorite yeah, story yeah. in the Cameroon. Yeah. <laughs> and by the way, if you're lactose intolerant, you can change the last word to dairy air. Winky face. Nice. Wow, a modular poem. This is great. Woo! Thanks, Zamza. <laughs> so if you are a flatulent female who might be into a little philosophizing, PM me for my email address or just fart in my general direction. <laughs> a little joke. Mm -hmm. Bonus points if you can tell me what my handle means. <laughs> Good luck on that. It means you're sick. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a foreign language I happen to know and is somewhat related to scent you will aspect of fart fetishism. Okay, I'm looking this up now. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Can't right. find anything. No, Google Translate. This nope. guy's really like, I have to set myself apart from all these other fart fetishes. I know, I'll use puns. <laughs> oh, it's uh it's Russian for skunk smell. So oh, okay. Skunk spray me now. Yes, Tony Sutra says two farts diverged in a yellow wood. <laughs> <laughs> the indivisible fart. Well, you know, uh, thanks for that. You know, and as as a as a segue, and again, uh, again, you know, when you're when you're going to sleep tonight, and you're well, you're not going to sleep tonight, but I'm when you're going, going to sleep, sleep tomorrow night, yep. yeah, uh, you know, as you're falling asleep and dreaming of this content, you can all thank Cat Examiner again. That's cat right. examiner. Thank, thank, <laughs> thank you, cat examiner. Thank you, yeah. cat examiner. Uh, and cat examiner, uh, there, there's a convenient segue here. Uh, thanks for teeing that up, uh, John Toast. Uh, the oh, next section. No um, now, you know, uh, Adam, you wrote a poem, and uh, I know everyone's going to be disappointed that it's uh, not owed to Odo because I know that was your first choice, but it is in fact owed to Odor. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Ode, odor, odist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, tags for this uh, uh, poem. Face fart. Oh, that's all, it, that's all we need. Simple to the point. I like it. Yep. <laughs> Cut print. I'm. I am T. Bradur, and uh... this is Ode to Odur. For a beautiful girl to spread her cheeks and sit upon my face, around the world I'd sail a balloon <laughs> up about the 
Ew, not the chase. Hmm. Then you're of protein laden and fall in love with your eyes. While all the while I fall for your smile, but want my face in your thighs, we'd laugh and smile and fart together, pulling fingers for each other. I'll <laughs> say I love you all the more if you'd, with your farts, me smother. Oh, boo. <laughs> Scan oh. Yeah, the fart fed is fine, but that scansion was terrible. Yeah, it always <laughs> happens. The conversation. Conversations turn to a ring. You hear me sing. It might be caught in your ass, but you might just might get lucky tonight. You spread and release your gas. This you do without a do, and put Gale wins to shame. You say with smelly hiss instead of a kiss. I love you, but that one was lame. So you squint and squirm and heave and push and beat hard around the bush. Out comes a roar, a pungent sign of love from your vibrating tush. And now I say yes. Now I say yes, I will marry you. Oh. I will not let this love die. A girl who whispers, I love you, to my face warmly from between her thighs. So dear <laughs> girls, respond to me. If your ass stinks worse than this verse, I'll make sure I'll make it well worth your while if you'll spread sit and furs. What? I don't know. He got Did to the last word to... and he couldn't pull it out, so he just is uh, that a yeah, foreign yeah. language word? What happened? F U R Z. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Um that's great, <laughs> but uh I think Montreth Montreth what is happened? Uh, claiming Montreth is claiming. Yeah, yeah, I have a poem. Yeah. Not as long as the previous one, but I think this better one. Uh, uh, I was inspired by William Wordsworth's uh, I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. So, you know, if, if you want to kind of imagine that rhythm while I'm reading this. <laughs> I think that I have never heard a poem lovely as a turd. <laughs> a turd against which my mouth is pressed and my hand upon her love flowing breast. A turd that looks at ass all day and lifts her anus stench to pray. A tree that may in summer poop, a nest of girl turds like a troop, upon whose bosom I have lain, whom intimately I'm insane. I mean, in who intimately am insane. Sorry, I have trouble knowing what I wrote there. Poems are made to be much heard. But only girls can make a turd. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good lord. Uh, hey, Levin. Did you like my poem? <laughs> uh, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, yes, what is running. Oh, yes, what is it, Kumquasa? Uh, Levin, I, I, I heard that you have a poem you stumbled upon. Oh, yes. Uh, the poem that I stumbled upon... Uh, I was out for a second. Which poem did I stumble upon? <laughs> it's oh, called yeah, a poem. Never mind, never mind, never mind. This was the poem that I stumbled upon. That poem that I stumbled upon uh, was called The Farting Contest. Ready? Oh. I'll tell you a story that is sure to please of a great farting contest at Burton on Tees, where all of the best farted per farters paraded the field to compete British. in the contest for various shields. <laughs> It's very, very British. British. I'm, I'm sure you're very not going British. to regret your choice of format. Like, like, <laughs> like Brooke? <laughs> Some tighten their bum cheeks and farve the scale to compete for a cup and a barrel of ale, whilst others whose arseholes are biggest and strongest. <laughs> so many British things right here. I know, this is getting Britisher and Britisher. <laughs> <laughs> Compete in the section for the loudest and longest. Now this year's event had drawn quite a crowd, and the betting was even on Mrs. McDowd. <laughs> For it had appeared in the evening edition that this lady's arse was in perfect condition. <laughs> the vicar Free arrived in the center of the stand, and thus he addressed a remarkable band. The contrast oh is on us, and oh, no, shown no, on no, the no. bills, we precluded the use of injections and pills. Mrs. Bingle arrived amid roars of applause and promptly proceeded to pull off her drawers. I had to do that in a British accent because yeah. it rhymes. Applause and drawers. Yeah. 
For though she no chance in the fart and display, she'd the prettiest bottom you'd see on this day. <laughs> now, young Mrs. Porter <laughs> was backed for a place, though she'd Ooh, though she'd often been placed in the deepest disgrace by dropping a fart on a Sunday in church and disturbing the sermon of Reverend McGurk. Oh, now we're just fully Seuss. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I can't rhyme this line. Shit, shit. Uh, make up a name. Make up a name. <laughs> and ladies lined up at the signal to start. And the win in the toss, Mrs. Jones took first fart. <laughs> Calling it now, they're gonna call. They're gonna mention a bank holiday at some point. <laughs> That's how British this is. <laughs> the people around stood in silence and wonder while her wireless transmitted gale warnings of thunder. I said wireless. I didn't now say mobile though. Now we're in Australia, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> now Mrs. McDowd reckoned nothing of this. She'd had some weak tea and was all wind and piss. <laughs> 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 This is legitimately funny. <laughs> she took up a place with her ass open wide, but unluckily shit was disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> this probably gets better the further it goes. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I stumbled upon this one. Yeah. Then young Mrs. Potter was called to the front and started doing a wonderful stunt. Oh, fucking cunt was not used. I'm so surprised. That's, that's uh, well, we not, don't want that's, to be foul and go foul. Yeah, that's, that's not classy. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, 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 we don't want to go blue. We want to go green. <laughs> she took a deep breath and clenching her hands, she blew the whole roof off the popular stands. That left Mrs. Bingle, who shyly appeared and smiled at the clergy, who lustily cheered. And though it was reckoned her chances were small, she ran out a winner, outfarting them all! Yeah, go Miss Bingle. With hands on her hips, she stood farting alone, and the crowd stood amazed at the sweetness of tone, and the clergy agreed without hindrance or pause, and said, first to Miss Bingle! Now pull up your drawers. <laughs> But with muscles well tensed and legs full apart, she started a final and glorious fart, beginning with Chopin and ending with Wing. She <laughs> went right up the scale to God save the king. Wow. <laughs> oh, so this is like uh, this is like Edwardian era fart, <laughs> fart contest. It sure is. I bustled and I farted all through my trestle. <laughs> Uh, she went to the rostrum with maidenly gait and took from the finger a set of gold plate. Then she turned to the victor with sweetness sublime and smilingly said, come see me sometime. That yeah. was, <laughs> well, that was terribly rude and a dog's dinner. Also crisps. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would actually believe that was a historic Victorian poem. I, yeah. Yeah, I, could, yeah. I could totally see that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I believe he did stumble upon it because it's good. <laughs> It's like right. just in a museum somewhere. Well, uh, you know, now, now, however, it's time to move on Aww. to a higher form of Aww. of art of fart, um, and that is uh, Pokemon. Oh no! Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Um, oh, hey, hey, uh, John Toast, will you oh, um, let you... me know the rules okay. of this uh, section of this community you've created? Um. What are the rules? Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was looking for a long list, but... Uh... <laughs> oh, it's a very simple community. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry to, I'm sorry to overcomplicate. I, I thought it was... Okay, 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 okay. Welcome, Fart. everyone. Feel free to post Pokemon Fart stuff in vids and doing role plays. Only Pokemon Farts. That's the rule. <laughs> it came down from Mount Sinai with a tablet. There's one rule. There are, there are rules. Don't make me tap the tablet again. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, hey, Adam, or should I say Spike the Dragon, uh, would you tell us about your idea? I had an idea for a group RP that needs members. It's based somewhat on the basic setup of Gates to Infinity, but with a gassy twist, it needs the following roles. 
The Chosen, a human turned Pokemon brought to save the world from an unspecified disaster, may or not, not choose to be gassy, but will be targeted by every stinky butted Pokemon around. <laughs> oh, come on. You're gonna make You've a made some powerful stinky butted bro. enemies. Yeah. You're going to make a uh, Pokemon heart that is RP, and then you immediately start with the like most cliched, you know, stereotype, Gary's too bullshit. Like, uh -huh. sorry, I've. I'm being too critical. Go on. <laughs> How dare you? It's good to know where your line is, Montres. <laughs> oh, it's cuddling and I, I, I just want people to use their imagination. If they could use their imagination, they wouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> Very fair. They can only come up with one rule. <laughs> Farting Pokemon, is that imagination? <laughs> um... Uh, also, the role of the partner who is a Pokemon who finds the chosen Pokemon and helps them get acquainted with the world and follows the same gas rules as their partner. Gas rules? Gas rules. There's also allies. I need Pokemon who join the heroes either after being defeated or from the get-go, and they may or be gassy or not. This is a message of respect for Pokemon and Pokemon allies. <laughs> There's also the bitter cold, which is a strange crystal like being with the most powerful gas on the planet. <laughs> His farts sap the strength of those that smell them and eventually putting them into a dreamless sleep in which they can do nothing but sniff his nightmare and farts for eternity. <laughs> and he also handles playing any gassy NPCs the battle the heroes battle, and that's being played by me. I'm I'm that. <laughs> uh, so you guys, you Just guys can't Gary play Sue that. Here. Yeah, yeah. I bet Montrez feels real dumb calling this Gary Stu BS. <laughs> okay. I another issue. Yeah. Why is it called the bitter cold when it's like a nightmare fight fart Pokemon? It's not cold. It's, well, it it comes out in the narrative. You know, it depends on what elemental they are, right? Because yeah, like, his yeah, name. Yeah. Lava. Well, I think farts would be like. Well, what is the dark elemental <laughs> and ice would be water? Oh, like, dear. I don't know oh. enough, enough about Pokemon, but this is an entirely different podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Mantra workshops also... Pokemon fart fetish. Well, I, I, I also need agents. Poison type? <laughs> I need agents who are gassy Pokemon who willingly serve the bitter cold for one reason or another, and there are five open slots for this, please. Oh, God. And I need enemies who are gassy Pokemon who torture others with their farts, and they may be intelligent bullies or bandits, subordinates of an agent or feral Pokemon controlled directly by the bitter cold, and that's always open for people to play. So, does anybody uh, want to play Pokemon farts? Oh, no. <laughs> still no. <laughs> well, thanks, thanks, Adam. That was a, that was a good effort, but you know, I. I... I appreciate the um you know the the expert law of the of the Pokemon fartland getting laid down by our expert Montreth. And Montreth, Montreth, you have your own uh, superior RP session to tell us about uh Gassy Girl 734. Okay, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I am dissatisfied with the loose rules and you know <laughs> basic setting of the previous RP, so I'm going to introduce you to my Pokemon Trainer Fart RP. And I, th I think the name should be Gassy Totally a Girl 734. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. This is my first post. I've been playing Pokemon recently to do my boredom when at work or home. So I thought I'd make a Pokemon RP. Continue the RP in the replies to join in. The trainer was walking through the route, heading to the next city to get her badge from the gym. She was blonde, wearing black yoga pants, <laughs> blue sweater with a book bag. Her name was Sam, and Sam loved to fart. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one thing we know about her. It was one of the things she enjoyed most in life. While <laughs> Sam was walking, she felt her stomach Farting rumble. Farting before your enemies and seeing a lamentation. <laughs> <laughs> she lifted her right leg slightly as she grunted. <laughs> oh, that feels good. She stated as her butt cheeks vibrated from the nasty fart. 
<laughs> Suddenly, the Pokeball on her bag opened and the Pokemon came out. This was not a surprise to her, since this Pokemon was able to go in and out whenever it wanted. The Pokemon was a Gardevoir she had six months now that she taught to talk and let loose like she did. <laughs> hey, there's your the Gardevoir, Gardevoir chat. Yeah. And she yawned out loud. Hey, I thought you said you were we gonna we were gonna fart together later. <laughs> You're farting behind my back. That was that was fart FOMO. <laughs> Sorry, Gar. I've been holding that in for almost half a mile now. Sam told Gardevoir. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
just the the uh, it, it spans any fetish for just the vileness of making other people the unwitting participants in your fetish is just yeah that's a, did you guys read the like a uh, story that was going on that doulas have been harassed by birth yeah I saw it? that I saw yeah, that yeah that's like the worst thing like please some sense. Uh, I want to thank you again to uh, so many of our donors uh, for the you know the two and two, the two dollar you know two dollar donations still appreciated uh, those hundred dollar donations. Uh, do they teach fart judging in seminary school, Colorado? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't understand how to read that one. Anyway, <laughs> hundred two dollar donation. Uh, thank you so very much, uh, and continue to keep the donations coming. When we come back from break, it will be time for psychic readings from the psychic bitch. Uh, hosted by Adam Bozarth and Frank West will begin his video game prison. So stick around. We'll be back momentarily. <laughs> 